Hi everybody, it's Diana from Youth Services at Mesa County Libraries. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. So today we're gonna to be making a pinwheel using just a few supplies. So let's get started. All right, so here are the supplies that you need to make your pinwheel. You're going to need a square piece of paper. Now I use origami paper, but if you do not happen to have origami paper, you can make your own um, square. And you can just simply take, um, so say you have like computer paper, you simply just fold up the corners, this corner to the edge, the top edge to this point here and then you just press it down and then you simply just cut off this flap here. Okay, so that will give you a square piece of paper. That's a, gonna be a larger pinwheel, but that's great. Um, and then of course you could do the same thing if you have just lined paper for school, okay? All right, so we know we need a square piece of paper. We will also need a pencil with an eraser on it. We're going to need a thumbtack, one of those little small guys. Now be careful with that thumbtack. It does have a little bit of a sharp edge and you don't want to jab yourself, okay? Because that's going to hurt. So be very careful. If you need a grown up, just ask, okay? Um, and then you're going to need a ruler so that you can measure off inches. You'll also need um, a pencil with a sharpened point. You'll need scissors and you'll need a hole punch. Now, if you do not happen to have a hole punch handy, you can always use that pencil that had the sharpened edge, okay? And lastly, if you wanna decorate your paper, um, even if it's decorated on one side, you can always decorate the back, okay? You might want some markers or coloring pencils, crayons, whatever you have at hand to color with, all right? All right, so I'm gonna use my origami piece of paper and I'm gonna turn it over because I wanna decorate the white side of the paper. So I'm gonna just um, do a quick little design of waves. And you can do whatever you want. This is your thing, right? This is your pinwheel, this is your creation. So I just did some quick waves. I think I'll do a little up here, a little down here. Okay, so I have my waves. So now I'm ready to fold my paper. And I want to have this outside be the center of my pinwheel. You see how that works with this um, pinwheel here? The outside of my paper will be on the center part of my pinwheel when it's all finished. So I'm gonna leave the waves up facing me so that I can see them. And then I'm going to turn my paper so that it looks like a diamond. You see how it's a diamond now? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna fold up to this top corner here. And then I'm gonna make my crease. All right. So now I have one crease in the middle and then I'm going to put it back down on the table and then I'm gonna rotate it so that that crease is facing me now. And then I'm going to take this corner and I'm gonna fold up to that top. So I should have two lines now. Great, and now I have four sections two lines and four sections on my paper. Okay, so now that my paper is folded and I have two lines here and then I have four sections, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to start at the corner and I'm gonna measure two and a half inches up from the corner. And then I'm gonna take my pencil that's sharpened and I'm gonna mark that lightly off two and a half inches up from the corner. I'll do that at each corner here. Okay, one more to go here, almost done. All right, excellent. So now I have four light lines on my paper. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna start from the corner and I'm gonna cut all the way up that fold line, just a straight cut to the lightly marked off spot with my pencil. All right, and then be very careful with your, your scissors as well. You don't wanna cut yourself. Okay, so we'll do that with all of the corners. All right, very good, almost done here. 
Excellent. Okay. So next, we're going to take our hole punch and we're going to punch a hole to the right of that cut near the top of that corner though, okay? And if you do not have a hole punch, um, just kind of gently poke your pencil through it. Uh, make sure you don't poke yourself though, okay? Be careful. All right, so we're gonna hole punch it. We're gonna hole punch all of those four corners to the right of it, okay? So you're gonna have four hole punches, four holes. Okay, excellent. So now we're gonna take our thumbtack and we're going to carefully, not to hurt ourselves, push it through the middle of the paper, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna set that aside because we'll get back to that a little later. Next, we're going to fold up our holes and meet in the center where that hole was just tacked in, okay? So you wanna fold them all into the center, kind of covering the tops of each other. Okay, one more to go here. Very nice. Okay, and then we're gonna take that tack again and we're gonna put it through all the holes and that initial thumbtack hole, okay? So it's gonna look just like this. Awesome. Then we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna push it through the side of the eraser. And we're gonna be careful not to push it all the way through that we poke ourselves, okay? Just enough so that it's in there. All right, and now I have my pinwheel. So let's try it out. All right, well, I hope you had fun making your pinwheel and being creative with it and trying it out. If you want to do other paper crafts, of course, we do have books at Mesa County Libraries that you can check out. If you are the type of person that you like to watch things and learn, we do have a great resource on our website called Kids Canopy, and you can find art projects through this video series called Art Zooka, which is A-R-T-Z-O-O-K-A. All you need to do to get onto Kids Canopy is to create an account with your library card, okay? So check those out if you're interested in that. All right, well, I hope you have fun and we will see you next time. Bye.